Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. I'm your host, Super Paper Master. And, uh... Whoa! Okay. I thought it was a magic Koopa in that area. I think I have to kill him anyways. And I missed the action command, so I pressed the button to do it. Okay, we just get- we don't get anything for the Koopa. Okay, right here at the X. Yes, you reach this area. Oh, this is- Well, it's not that bad. Okay. There's the pipe to the next area, so flower saver, so just go on to the other red X and... I just kind of want the pipe tin, like, you know, they could make it a bit shorter, like, put the X closer to the hole in the wall. Not here, though, but, I mean, like... I'm gonna try to skip him. No, oh, here is the, the magic Koopas in this section of the... Um... I know he's, like, right down here. There's one. Oh, I couldn't jump on him. Okay. But well, it's two, so... That's a magic Koopa! You know, a Koopa wizard. Max HP is seven, attack is four, and defense is zero. It'll throw a load of pain our way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there's only one of them, it splits into multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this tin fast, or we'll be in a world of hurt. Oh, what are you doing now? Okay, he's electricity. And his defense is boosted. So, um... Because Goombella won't be able to attack the guy, but then again, we don't really need her. I'm just gonna power smash him just in case. Because I don't know what... Oh, I did five still, so... Okay, I didn't need to do that. Oh, crap. Koops is the one to have. Oh, this is good, though. Okay, people in the audience fell asleep. Okay, this is kind of good, though. Because with Koops... Hits them for sure. Now Mario's attacks might miss, so and I missed. But at least, oh, what's that noise? Is that people sleeping? I think it's people sleeping. Okay, I got eight for that. Okay, now I'm gonna continue my truck through the underground. Go this way. Now you could break this with this armor. So I'm just gonna do this now. Ugh, made it. I'm not gonna go down them now. Ooh! Ouch! Oh good, I don't have to use a shouse and I was just gonna do it to kill the other guy. Oh yeah, Koops is a bit weaker than the the normal um the right the common partner. He'll probably get raised. Um, okay, now here's a room that you could access at the end of chapter five, but you will have to return here after chapter six because you need the boots to get the final item hidden down this tin. This place is hidden deep at the other end of the sewers. Like it's gonna take a while to get there. 
You have to pass here. And here. Oh, and this place too. There's a magic Koopa there. Hammer Bros at the top. And nobody in that section. And then you reach this room. Yeah. So you need... You're gonna need a lot of... Uh... So you have to kill all of them. And the best in here is just... Kill them with... um Koops. Because they all have 3 HP, so... And you get one for all of these tins, so this is gonna be long. Oh, my foe stuck first this time? I mean, there's no point in hammering them if this is a, I'm gonna just use... Power Shell each time. Oh, I got one of the... Ooh, that one has a badge. The last one. It didn't really help him here, though. My foe struck first here. Oh, this is not that bad, but I'm still just gonna... Kill him like this. I would say do this, because, you know, I don't want you to, like, watch... Some of these battles I probably would have just like, you know, they don't do much damage to these guys, so... Oh, my foe struck first? I, I did not strike first. They do one damage, you know, so... It's the other one. The pink one... is Brudo. Okay, yeah, these two you could collect, but it's just this one you can't, and... There's no hidden blocks, so you must spin jump. Why did I press that one? Oh, I could try and hammer him. Oh, wait. Actually, it has a lot of HP. I could probably kill all the other ones. Oh, it just has two. I was robbed. That's a spunna. Its body is made up of springy discs. Uh, max HP is 12, attack is 7, and defense is 2. It may not look like much, but it's pretty tough. It won't come at you with anything too weird, so just hang in there, okay? Yeah. Dodging with. S and you get. It's not, it's easy to dodge, because it's exactly, you know, when you only tins that this tin takes a long time to, like, you know, when there's a lot of them. So I have to use up a Mario turn to do this. Kill in. Oh, at least that fallen will... Oh, it doesn't hurt it. Okay, you need to use gulp for sure, because your tin won't do anything. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, that still doesn't go damage, so okay, good. And that battle netted us 13, mostly because of the pink one. Okay, now I don't care about that coin. Oh, wow, I did it in one shot. There's a badge that's there. If you don't want the badge, you could leave. You don't have to fight the pink guy, but that's the only place, the only enemy, only one of him. I don't even think there's any in the pit of 100 trials. That's how rare he is. But unlike other enemies like you know Red Bones or the bosses, you won't find that one in Professor Franklin's like trash can the information that's tally log because you could always return there to fight him. I don't know why you would do that, but it does net you a nice chunk of experiments. Ooh. 
And the other stuff that we could do is in the town section of the underground, so... Not doing that this time, but I'll be going in the underground, like, probably next episode. So let's try to find where the last star is before the time runs out for this episode. And frankly, kid, I don't care what you have to say, Yoshi. Uh. Uh, uh. Okay, we have enough time. Wow. It makes me laugh that we're starting chapter like seven soon, while in Paper Mario at this time we were already done. It lasted 60 episodes. This is like what episode 68, I think. Yeah, and we're just starting chapter eleven, and there's even quests after the game is over. So that's the only place we didn't go yet, so a new moon gets added and a little base on the moon. And it's not even in the base, it's on the moon. But that's right, it's in the base, but they just don't tell us. Okay, it was located on our map. Now let's, we could maybe get, um... What's wrong with this map? The last crystal... <laughs> so it says that it's on the moon. Because the X-Nuts have it, they found it in Rougeport, so... Imagine how easy it would have been if that one was in Rougeport. Hmm! Matt indicates true the location is the moon! The moon! It Princess Peach is like, okay, yeah. Uh, um, probably how you get to the moon. Um... I'm mean, looking at it, maybe it takes some time, so come back in a bit. Okay, you're supposed to come back after you get the Ultra Hammer. I email. Let's see who it is. The real zip toe. Oh, I'm not gonna like read this all, but look, there's a. Wait, what did he say? Film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. Wow. Uh, look in the background in the window. You see that guy from the first Paper Mario game. Okay, so instead we're gonna just power up. Uh, we could power up three car. Oh, Yoshi. No, I'm just. I don't want. Oh, it's true. I forgot. I'm like, I'll just power up Yoshi, but uh, it's true. You have to still click him. So, um. I'm just gonna keep Yoshi, because I'm gonna probably use him to, um, do the trouble centers, which we are gonna do before we go and do chapter 7. Okay, so Koops gets, uh, powered up. Um, I never use Flurry, so Miss Mouse, you'll get powered up. And then we'll end off with Yoshi. And Flurry, well, she'll get powered up some other time. I don't really care when. The last three shine sprites are in Fair Outpost, so... After, before the fla last area... Okay, and with that, we will end off this episode. Next time, we'll find out how to get to the moon.